Rachel Sweet joined dozens of rallygoers in a Kansas City, Missouri Union headquarters parking lot on a warm October Saturday, holding a sign that read, Yes on three, and joining a call and response chant. When women's rights are under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back. Sweet, 33, could have been any of the union workers, faith leaders, or abortion rights canvassers gathered in support of Amendment 3, a measure on the Missouri ballot in the November the 5th election that would enshrine the right to abortion in the state constitution. But in the two years since the US Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade and eliminated federal abortion rights in 2022, the self-described polite Midwesterner has been a guiding force behind a winning streak for abortion rights in conservative states. Um, Missouri's abortion ban has no exceptions for rape, incest, or women's health. And what we have seen over, really over the past few years, is just this, this groundswell of grassroots support for ending the ban and for returning decisions about reproductive rights and health care to Missourians, uh, to Missouri women and their families. So I think the stakes are really high and Missourians understand the impact that this ban has had in their lives, in the lives of their friends, family and neighbors. Seven states have put the issue of abortion to voters through ballot measures since that ruling and abortion rights campaigns have won every vote. Sweet, a former lobbyist for Planned Parenthood, led campaigns to defeat anti-abortion initiatives in two of those states, Kansas and Kentucky. Missouri is really the first time where we're going to be able to go from zero access to these really solid protections for reproductive rights in our state constitution. The reason these campaigns are successful is because we talk to voters across the political spectrum, right? This is not in states like Kansas and Kentucky and Missouri. Um, this is not purely about mobilizing a base, right? This is about really talking to voters who may feel conflicted about the issue of abortion, who have complicated feelings around the subject, and finding common ground with them and shared values. She was a senior advisor on Ohio's campaign to establish abortion rights last year, traveling to the state days after her wedding to knock on doors with her husband. In all three states, the campaign sidestepped party politics on the issue and cast abortion bans as instances of government overreach. Sweet is hoping to extend that winning streak with a similar approach in her home state of Missouri and overturn one of the strictest abortion bans in the country. The Missouri law, which took effect the day Roe was overturned, makes no exceptions for rape or incest and carries a 15-year prison term for doctors who perform abortions outside of medical emergencies. If Sweet wins, it will be the first time that voters reversed a total ban and reinstated legal abortion through fetal viability or around 24 weeks gestation. For women, when they get pregnant, like the idea that they would lose the ability to make decisions for themselves with their doctor, you know, if you went to the doctor and you were pregnant, they, for them to not, for you to not be able to just make the decision with them on what's best for you is, is awful, you know, this, like our country's supposed to be about freedom. Anti-abortion activists are asking voters to reject the measure, even if they do not agree with the ban, arguing that the amendment would loosen Missouri's abortion restrictions too much. I'm a Catholic and Catholics are very much against abortion. And uh, I'm definitely Catholic. I want to be a mom. and. I understand that that is not always an easy or safe thing to do in a state like Missouri. And so I'm doing this because it matters to me personally. And I'm doing this because I know countless women who have needed access to abortion and other types of reproductive health care. And I, you know, we're all here in solidarity together. It's like we're really trying to make sure we get folks out on doors and get them making phone calls and that we're talking to as many voters as we can ahead of election day. So I love when we get to do something like this and then funnel people into that action um, to help pass Amendment 3.